This video explains how to use the grouping feature in Perusal to create discussion groups for students in your course. First, go to Settings, select Grouping, and you will see there are two ways to set up groups, Automatic and Manual. If you want students to be in different groups throughout the semester, you should use Automatic Groups. If you want students to stay in the same groups for the whole semester, you should use Manual Groups. Selecting Automatic Groups means Perusal will sort students into different groups for different documents. The groups form depend on the enrollment estimate and the target group size. The enrollment estimate is how many students will be in the class. The target group size is approximately how many students will be in each group. Students will only be able to see comments and questions within their group. Instructors are not in a group. All threads started by an instructor will be seen by the whole class and within an instructor initiated thread each student will see only the responses by the instructor and their group members. In this course, there are about 12 students and the teacher wanted three students per group, so Perusal will create four groups. Groups for a particular document are fixed once the document is uploaded. Fixed means that if you change the grouping parameters, aka the enrollment estimate or target group size for the course, it will not change the existing groups on documents already in the course. Perusal doesn't change existing groups when you change the grouping parameters since we don't want to disrupt the conversations that students may already be engaged in within these documents. So all these documents in the course have groups of three. You can see this by going into each document and press groups. But what if you wanted groups of four? Go back to your settings, select grouping, and adjust the target group size, then click save. When you upload a third document into the library, the new document will have the new group settings of groups of about four, while the original documents will maintain the original groups of three. If you want a document that was uploaded before the settings were adjusted to have the new group settings, go to the document, press groups, and press reshuffle. You can also fine tune Perusal's automatically created groups by dragging and dropping students between groups. Also, something else to know. You can create multiple assignments from a single document in the library, but every assignment created from a particular document will always have the same groups. To further explain, You've created two assignments from document one, and those two assignments will have the same groups. The reason why assignments from a single document will always share the same groups is because students can always open an entire document from the library, and it would be disconcerting to students if the group changed, depending on where they scroll to within the document. So now, let's take a look at the manual group settings. Go back to your course settings and select groupings and then select Manual Groups. This means that you get to choose the groups for the entire course. These groups will apply to every document and assignment. This setting is often used by instructors who want perusal groups to match, recitation sections, project groups, or other groups that you have students in already. To set manual groups, put a number next to each student's name. For example, one, two, or three to indicate what group they should be in. You can also click Import to import the group assignments from a spreadsheet. Once the course is underway, be careful about reshuffling automatically formed groups, switching between automatic and manual groups, or changing manual groups. Once students have started working on assignments, they will be able to only see the work of their group members. So if any big changes were to occur because of a group reshuffle, the students will be separated from their original groups and may no longer be able to see old conversations they previously saw and participated in. To summarize, it's best to use the manual group option if you want students to stay in the same groups throughout the course. If you want students to interact with different groups of students throughout the course, it's best to use the automatic groups option. If you have questions, please reach out to our support email at support at perusal.com.